Hello, my friends. I am Humberto Fernandez, your real estate broker in the Riviera Maya. And it can happen that you come across a property that you feel that it is a really good deal. But how can you know for sure? So today I'm going to be giving you three pointers that you can apply to wait to really measure if that property is really an opportunity. But before we begin, just a friendly reminder to like and subscribe as that helps this channel a lot. And stay with me. Welcome back. In the pointer number one, it's going to be pretty obvious, but it has to do with the price. Now, if the value of the price of that property is at or below the market value, that is an opportunity right there. Or at least that's one of the first indicators that you can, you know, put your little your little check mark uh, beside that. And so how can you know if the property is at or below the market value? It's very simple. You just need to look at other properties, comparable properties in the same area, and then you can have a, a really good idea of what the prices are in that specific area for that specific kind of, of, of property. And then you can know if that property that you're looking at is actually at or below the market value. So any property that is below the market value, that is the very first indicator that this may be a very good opportunity. And so the second point, it has to do with the potential value growth of the area. Now, this part can be a little bit subjective and you really have to do some research or even better, try to go down there. But as a general rule of thumb, I'm going to say if there are more developments being built and if there's more infrastructure coming along, if they're building a new uh, shopping mall, if they're building a new uh, supermarket, whatever, that's a good indicator that the, the, the value of the area is going to grow in the next following years. And this can be compared, for instance, with more uh, settled zones, more consolidated zones. So just to, to draw an example, in Playa del Carmen, for instance, if you go around Juarez Avenue, that's the most consolidated area of, of the city. So the potential for value growth, it still exists for sure, but it's going to be lower when you compare it, for instance, with the Colosio neighborhood. With We know that the, right now the Colosio neighborhood is the fastest growing area of Playa del Carmen with a fantastic value growth. And you can you can appreciate that just by the number of new developments being built and all the infrastructure that is coming along. So if you detect that the area in which you're planning to invest is, a, is a, 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 an area with a nice steady valley growth potential, that would be your second indicator that the property that you're looking at is an opportunity. And the third point, it is the ROI. Now, the ROI is, again, a little bit subjective because it's always linked to your financial expectations. But let's say that here you can apply the 1% rule of which I made already a video and I'm going to leave the, the, the little link around here, I guess. And so basically what the 1% rule says is that you should be looking at an ROI that is at least or around 1% per month of the total value of the property, which will amount to an ROI of 12% per year. If you find the property whose ROI meets this criteria, the 1% rule, which is going to give you a 12% ROI per year, that is the third indicator that this is a very good opportunity. And so just to summarize, these are the three pointers or the three aspects that would give you a very good indication that the property you're looking at is a, a good opportunity. So numero uno, the value. It has to be at or below the market value. That's an opportunity right there. Numero dos, the potential value growth of the area. If that part of the city is growing rapidly, that means that your property is going to increase its value just as fast. And that would be a very good indicator that you're looking at a nice opportunity. And numero tres. And in this, uh, I think you should be a little bit flexible. That's the reality because it depends a lot on the market. But try to apply the 1% rule. If you're making an ROI of around 12% per year, that means that that property is profitable. And that means that this property is a good opportunity. And so my friends, I hope this information was helpful and that it helps really to drive your decisions and learn to seize the opportunities that present. And so my friends, to the next one. Mm -hmm.